Senior Spotlight. I'm your host, Brielle Jungla, and today we're here with Tori Caldwell from the women's soccer team. Tori, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So you're finally a senior. Tell us, tell us how you feel about it. I'm super excited. I feel like this day <laughs> is just uh, getting closer and closer. I'm so excited to finally finish up my last year of soccer. So um, give us a little background about yourself. Um, I'm from Northern Virginia. I've lived there all my life, basically. I started playing soccer at a really young age. Um, I just seemed to really stick with that one, and I, now I'm here. So you said that you were from Northern Virginia. Um, how did you end up at USC again? Um, our, my coach, uh, freshman year at USC Aiken, um, so she was, uh, also from Northern Virginia, and so she sort of knew the area well, and she saw me at a uh, tournament and basically recruited me from there, and I love the warm weather. I didn't really want to stay up north or anything like that, so I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that. This, the warm weather seems to make everything better. It really, really does. <laughs> so tell us what your major is. My major is communications. And tell us why you chose that major. I chose communications because I want to kind of go into like event planning or like sports management slash marketing, something like that, and communications here is the best route for me. So you said that you just kind of stuck to soccer. Um, I'm assuming you played other sports growing up a little bit? Yeah, um, you know, a girl always has to be a little dancer in there <laughs> a little. Um, but I also played softball and I, I liked softball, I thought it was fun, but I ju it just came to a point where um, I kind of just had to pick one mm -hmm. and I chose soccer instead. And here you are playing at the collegiate level. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Tori, tell us what your favorite part about USC Aiken is. My favorite part? Um, probably just how close everybody is to one another. Um, I have like friends on all different teams, which is awesome. I love how we can all get together and enjoy each other's company and, um, yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you were talking to a younger version of yourself, what would you tell yourself before you came to college? Um, it's not as scary as people say it is. I My freshman year, I came in and I was like pumped, but then I was also like very, very, very nervous. Um, the seniors and everybody who were older than me kind of noticed that and I thought it was kind of funny. Um, but, you know, after that, you know, I kind of settled down a little bit and just took one day at a time, and I think that's the most important part, really. So aside from soccer, is there any other things that you like to do on campus? Um, I love to hang out in the combo. Uh, <laughs> love you, Miss Billy. I literally <laughs> talk to her every single day. She's my best friend, so. So aside from Miss Billy, is there anyone else that you would like to thank that's really, like, helped you through your, um, through your career here? Um, I think Dr. Wilson, she is the head communications department chair. Um, she is a fabulous lady. She's helped me through so much. Um, if it's with school or if it's with soccer, if I just need to talk to someone, she's always there. Like, her door's always open, and she just makes me feel so welcomed. Absolutely. So, Tori, what are some highlights that you'll take away from USC Aiken? It can be both, like, with your academics and it can be both, or with your um, soccer team. Um, with soccer, I would just say um, we really grow together as a team and as a family. Like, our biggest um, thing that we are known for is for our family values. Mm -hmm. uh, we always do stuff together. Sometimes it's a little too much, but um, we really get to know one another and love one another, and I think that really carries on into, like, later in your life when you have, like, forever friends and stuff Absolutely. like that. Um, with school, I guess, uh, USC Aiken, just in general, like, I love the way um, I've learned here with the small classrooms and, like, really getting to know my teachers. Um, I feel really close to a lot of my communications teachers and uh, um, some other teachers that I've had in the past, and I just feel that they really care about their students. Absolutely. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. So, what are some, um, dang, I'll have to cut that part out, too, because I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um, what are Okay, so what are your expectations for this upcoming season? Um, well, this upcoming season, we have a lot of freshmen coming in. 
Um, I was also part of a big freshman class, so mm -hmm. I understand what they're feeling and how, like, now we're in, like, the, the other older girls' shoes. When we came in, um, I'm really excited to see all the new players and how they're going to fit in with our playing style, how we're going to fit in with theirs, and I really hope it meshes well because I think our team has some high expectations to kind of prove some people wrong next year. Absolutely. So how do you want to be remembered here at USC Aiken? Um, I guess I just want to be remembered as the person that it's just nice and fun to hang out with. <laughs> I, I don't really know. I just, you know, I always, I never, I always tell people like, I don't like to be mean. I like everyone to love one another. And <laughs> You're a lover, not I'm, a fighter. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I just want everyone to be happy. So if I have to tell a stupid joke or something like that just to make someone laugh, I, I try my best. <laughs> That's a good way to be remembered, a happy, happy person. Yeah. Um, so if you could describe your time here in one word, what would it be? Um, crazy. Crazy. Give, yeah. us, give us a little background on that. I Just everything is crazy. You just never know what to expect <laughs> day by day. Everything is Especially changing. Especially in this little town. Yeah. Gotta love Aiken. <laughs> <laughs> so Tori, what are your plans for... Um, for after you graduate? After I graduate, um, I'll probably stay in Aiken for a little bit till I kind of figure out things. Um, you know, I'd love to find a job with a uh, minor league sports team of some sort. Um, that would that would be amazing. Um, but I guess I'll take what I can get right away, I guess. And, um, you know, kind of just feel for what I really want to do and then see where things take me from there. It's scary, isn't it? Going into the real world. I do know that I want to stay in the South, though. That's a good so. choice. Absolutely. Warm weather. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, Tori. Well, thank you so much for your time. I wish you the best of luck on your season and, of course, after you graduate. Thank you. Yeah. All right, everyone. That wraps things up with Tori Senior Spotlight. Make sure you tune in next time. Yeah.